Okay, so I'm here with the uh, beautiful X7, Tyrannus X7. Uh, really cool looking controller, obviously. Uh, but it does have both the sticks at uh, center, which I do not really like. Uh, now, I really like the feel of the other controls, so I'm probably going to keep them the same. There are a lot of modifications you can do on the sticks, uh, but today I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, so this is my first time opening this up, uh, so we're going to be kind of doing this together. Uh, but I did uh, check out how FR Sky recommends to do it, and we are going to uh, follow their steps. So first step is to make sure um, you're in the correct mode. So turn it on, uh, and this is only for um, if you have a controller that needs to be changed. Um, if you do not, um, then go ahead and skip this part and go right to the clean flight setup. Uh, there's, I'll comment a time in the comments to uh, switch that too. So you're going to hold down on the middle button. Uh, instead of scrolling all the way to the bottom, scroll just once to the left and you'll get to mode. Uh, and you see I already have it correct where left, right, rudder, up, down, throttle, elevator, and aileron um, right there. So you're good there. Uh, and then you're just going to want to turn that baby back off. All right, now if you already have batteries in here, you're going to definitely want to take those out for now. Uh, they can be really stiff in here. All right, so now you see on the back here, there's four spots where there's screws. One, two, three, four. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and unscrew all those. Now you always want to be careful taking these off because there's always something attached, it seems. Uh, yep, battery's attached there in the back. So you want to be very careful of that. Uh, I'm just going to leave that plugged up for now because I really don't want to mess with it. So now, uh, good to always remember which one is the throttle, and that's the left stick. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and zoom on. This is the left stick over here. Gonna go ahead and just zoom in on that. Okay, so now we've got a lot of screws here uh, that may seem kind of scary at first, uh, but it's nothing to uh, really worry about. The uh, FR Sky does a great video on how to uh, change it. It's just a little slow, uh, so I was looking it up, and we're first we're just gonna follow along here. So uh, it's this is the spring. You can see this spring over here. Uh, moves up and down when the throttle is engaged. So it's to first loosen this. To loosen spring tension. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. You can see over here the spring is moving down as we do that. And this guy on the video seems to screw it out pretty far. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Again, it's just this screw uh, right here. Uh, so I know it's kind of confusing. There's a lot of screws. But this screw right here uh, is the one and you're just going to want to really loosen that. And then the one directly over here, you're going to want to screw down. And what that does is it's putting down the rocker arm, uh, which gives you the kind of clickiness when you move the controller. In the video, they screw this down all the way as far as it can go. Uh, and it's pretty stiff, which kind of scares me a little bit, but we're just going to go for it. It's it a little easier as you go. Alright, so I'm feeling that clickiness now a little bit more. I'm just going to go ahead and loosen the spring just a tiny bit. All right, so now, as you can see, uh, it still springs back just a little, but that rocker arm is engaged. For some reason, it seems to only be engaged uh, when it goes up, and it springs down a little bit, uh, which I don't really like how it's doing that. Uh, but that is, the rocker arm is all the way, and this spring tension is completely off. The next step is to tighten both of these, it says, both of these screws. And there's only one side that can be tightened. Um, this side uh, is not the one. This is the side. And it's really interesting. If you look under there, actually, uh, you can see one of these has little ribs on it. And the other is smooth. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just tighten this one to create 
some tension on the stick. Wow, that's really interesting. Now, as soon as it goes, and again, it's mostly just at the bottom. The top still needs a little bit of tension here. Oh, I think it's really tight. And it does recommend tightening both. And that's what we're going to do because I do like a little bit of ratchet. Again, I don't like how it's just at the bottom. That kind of worries me. Again, in this video, uh, they screw this down all the way, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it does frighten me a little bit. Really make sure you're pushing down and not stripping out these screws because it looks like it's easy to do. Um, and I'm going to unscrew the ratcheting because I'm deciding I don't really want that. So I have uh, screwed down the one all the way, and you can see now it's holding. Um, I screwed down the th smooth throttle one right here, and again, that's this screw this uh, over here on this side. Uh, if you want the ratcheting, you can screw this one down, or if you want a little bit of ratcheting, uh, you can scroll this one down. I don't really like it uh, because it kind of takes away, in my opinion, from the uh, high-definition controller, that the really detailed... Uh, movements this controller can have. It kind of takes away from that a little bit, but if you do just want a little bit of clickiness, uh, you can screw that down. Uh, again, you're going to want this screw unscrewed and this screw all the way down to switch this over, and that is how to switch this controller uh, from manual to um, from auto center to manual uh, throttle. So after that, you're going to want to put this case again very carefully back on some little pins in here. There are some little pins um, in here that you got to be very careful of as you poke them back through. You might want to open this up to make sure they go through correctly um, or just uh, look at it as you're putting it on. Uh, oh. but those are very delicate so you're going to want to be very careful of those. Uh, now the screws all appear to be the same size. Um, so that's good. So if they do fall out, uh, you can use all of them in the same hole. So all you're going to do then is just put these babies back in and screw them back in. And then you are now good to go for manual throttle. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or it was helpful, please give a share, like, uh, and give me a subscribe for more of these. really helps me out as a creator to bring you some more content. Um, if you... Uh, feel you are um, able right now. I'm doing a fundraiser to help me go on and uh, Check out more of these videos uh, link below and in the cards for more information on videos just like this I also do a lot of uh, video reviews and this is a part of a series on how to build your own FPV quadcopter So if you are interested in building your own quadcopter drone uh, racing specifically with FPV camera um, then check out the playlist that either this video is in uh, or it's linked below and in a card if you haven't seen it already. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again in another video.